This week we announced in the Lancet the creation of a Lancet Commission on 21st Century Global Health Threats. This commission is chaired by Natalia Kanem, the Executive Director of the United Nations Fund for Population Activities, and by myself. And the commissioners are drawn from a diverse set of regions and occupations. We have some current and former heads of state. We have leaders of public health institutions in each of the regions of the world. We have <coughs> global thought leaders on particular types of threats. We have youth representatives. We have uh, some of the key leaders of global funding uh, organizations. This diverse group is going to try to look for common solutions that cut across the multiplicity of threats that we see for the future. There's excellent work that's being done on some of those threats to date, on commissions on pandemics, standing commissions and other uh, analyses around climate change. Um, there are uh, some, but probably less, work on the role of conflict. But as we look at some of the other threats, there's perhaps less work. The, the, the threats, for example, from demographic change and inverted population pyramids and what that will do fiscally and economically and socially to many countries. What do we do about high and rising body mass index around the world and the non-communicable diseases that go with that? What about the threat of antimicrobial resistance and its spread in the future, just to name a few of those threats? But governments and other actors in society and citizens are going to have to navigate a world of the combination of, of, of multiple threats. And the purpose of this commission is to look at the evidence and see if there are common strategies that might uh, help societies manage that multiplicity of threats, looking far past the SDG target year of 2030 and into the middle of the coming century. We will be a two-year process. We hope to have the results published from the Commission at the end of 2024. And there will be, uh, once the Commission has its first meeting, the creation of a number of working groups that will also be a mechanism for hearing evidence and bringing evidence to bear on uh, what the future might hold. We hope to use quantitative forecasting tools as, a, as an input and as well as scenario building. How can we change that future, reduce the potential harm from these threats, um, and uh, have a diverse set of voices from around the world feed into what we hope will be an important and useful set of recommendations. So look, uh, uh, pay, look forward to uh, more coming on the Commission. And there is also a website for the Commission, Global Threats commission.org, which will provide information on the status of the work uh, as it